Hello, my name is Quentin Davis. I'm the Vice President of Operations here at LKC Technologies, and I'm excited today to tell you about a new application we've developed called Riff Extractor. The Redval device generates PDF files, which are great for reviewing results, printing them, and uh, archiving them. But it's not that great if you want to, say, collect data on 100 subjects and um, measure some scientific uh, parameter between them because the PDF file is human readable, but you need something that's machine readable. For these applications and others, the Redival device also stores a raw data or RFF, also RIF, also called RIF file, which has all the digital information needed for doing these kinds of studies from the, with a machine readable format. To, you, to look at one RIF file or RFF file, there's an application called RIF Browser, which lets you do that. But that's also kind of onerous if you have 100 ones, you want to do something that's more programmatic. That's where the RIF Extractor utility comes in. So the RIF Extractor tool can take a collection of these raw data files and output different information from them into a CSV or comma separated variable file which you can then analyze in whatever tool you like to use, whether it's Excel, MATLAB, R, Mathematica, SAS, you name it. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to do two things. Uh, the first one, I'm going to look at the age dependence of the ERG. And the second one, I'm going to look at the effect of the flash duration on the photopic flash ERG. So to start with, you need to open the Riff Extractor utility shown here. And it has a section here to take a collection of raw data files. Then it has a section for recording patient information, stimulus information, the cursor values that are, that are measured during the measurement process. You can also store you can also export the reported waveforms as shown in the PDF report, the raw waveforms if you want to, those are the raw A to D values if you want to do your own analysis. You can also look at the pupil waveform. In multimedia, you can export videos and images taken in the infrared uh, during the measurement process or just before the measurement process. And you can extract any other parameter that is accessible in the raw data file, which you can see from the RIF browser utility. So for the first experiment, I'm going to look at the age dependence of the ERG. I have, uh, 1, 000, I have 2,188 files here. There are PDF files, and also there's these raw data files in here. I can just uh, collect all of them, all 2,188 and copy them over and it noticed there were 241 raw data files in there. Um, I don't really need the patient ID or the tested eye or the electrode package type to do this age, so I'm going to turn those off. Then I'm going to create my spreadsheet and I will go to the, uh, the folder that I'm in maybe type in age because I'm interested in the age dependence. Then it will read the 241 files instead of you having to key in that information. It did it all for you. It made this CSV file immediately openable in Excel. And you can see uh, all the results. So first column is patient birthday. Second column is testing date. You can kind of see there is a short description and a long description. Uh, rows, and then um, you know, there is just lots and lots and lots of data from these 241 files. I was interested in age, uh, so we had to compute the age, so I'll type in age, and then the age is simply the testing date minus the birth date, uh, but we need to divide that by 365 because Excel stores that in days. Then you have to tell Excel that this is a number. And you can see this person was 51 years old. 
I can copy that formula down through all the data in the file. You can see that there are thousands of measurements um, from those 241 subjects. In fact, there was 4,016. And now I can plot, well, let's go back up to the top here. Uh, before I can plot something, let me filter and only get, say, the ISEV photopic uh, trolling-based uh, flash. And for stimulus, let's not do this photopic flash. We'll do that on the next experiment. We'll do the flicker test, which is at 28.3 hertz. Then you can see, aha, I have some not measurable data. Maybe I will um, exclude the not measurable data. And now let's plot by uh, shift control arrow. I can do that. And then I can do another column of, say, the waveform time. Then I can scatter that. And I can see the uh, age versus the in time. I can um, add a trend line. I can display the equation on the chart. And you can see here the, uh, that there is a 0.05 millisecond per year age dependence, or a half a millisecond per decade. Um, I can easily change the from looking at the time to looking at the amplitude. And you can see that as you get older, not only do you get slower, but you get a smaller amplitude, about uh, 0.2 microvolts per year in this test setup. Anyway, that's all. See how easy it was to do the uh, age dependence, the second um, second example I wanted to do was the effect of flash duration on the photopic ERG. So I can clear out the data from the RIF extractor. I can copy all the parameters in here. Uh, I don't need any patient information nor stimulus information because this had a, a different stimulus in order to affect the flash duration, I had to change a parameter that's not one of those. So this was a custom protocol. I can open it up in this RIF extractor, a RIF browser utility, and I can see what I was changing was this Gonsfeld um, long flash duration. So I can copy this parameter here and then add a column and then it shows up in other. Now, I only did the photopic flash, so I'll just get the A wave and B wave time and amplitude. Now, I'll create a spreadsheet. So, the spreadsheet is going to have five columns. Let me save it in my flash duration folder. And here it is. I can open it up, and there's the four, there's the five columns. Now, I wanted to measure the to flash duration, and Excel likes the x-axis to be on the left side, so I'm going to move that flash duration column over, and then I'm going to plot it versus one of the ERG parameters, and you can now see the how the A wave time is affected by the flash duration. I can also look instead of the A wave time, the A wave amplitude, or the B wave time, or the B wave amplitude. So, yeah, there was 266 data points. They were done in a randomized order to make sure there was no time dependence, and none of that stuff matters. Super easy to do the data analysis using the RIF extractor tool. Anyway, I hope this uh, whets your appetite to using the RIF extractor. Um, some of the things I didn't talk about was the raw waveforms, the pupil waveforms, or the multimedia extraction. Um, but I uh, thank you for your time and attention.